calculation, it soon is proved that he's a close relation, though once or twice removed. But knowing that he's kin folks, it's quite okay to treat him like a long lost cousin and say, it's always good to know that you're my kissing kin. It breaks the ice and makes it nice so the kissing can begin. No need to use restraint, it ain't no sin. No, it's not wrong, just as long as you're my kissing kin. My first trip to the city, I felt so all alone. I didn't know a soul, I could even telephone. But right up at the station, I saw a guy who was the spitting image of dear old Uncle Cy. He claimed he was my distant dear cousin Fred. And so I kind of family hugged him and said, it's Oh, so good to know that you're kissing kin. It breaks the ice and makes it nice so the kissing can begin. Don't need to use restraint, it ain't no sin. No, it's a fact, it's how to act, cause you're kissing kin. Now, since I've started checking, I'm happy to relate. I've lots of handsome kin folks in every single state. I know it seems peculiar, each one's a man. But who am I to question, dear Mother Nature's plan? A family reunion will hold one day. I line them up and greet each cousin this way. It's oh, so good to know that young the kissing kin. It breaks the ice and makes it nice so the kissing can begin. Don't need to use restraint. It ain't no sin. I think it's great that I can write so many kissing kin. 